Hello, my name is Hazik and I am a fourth grader at Indus International School, Pune. I have an idea of an invention that will make the oceans a better place. An ocean cleaner called ERVIS or Elvis. I got the idea when Ted had started at school. school. He saw a video uh, that people were polluting the sea and ocean life dying. Pollution is the biggest problem humankind is facing today. What we don't understand is it's ultimately affecting our food chain. I knew I would take this as my terror project since I wanted to help ocean life. The question here is how will my plan contribute to Mother Earth? By saving the by saving ocean life, a disease in the food chain which includes us will be prevented. It's a 5 meter long boat with various compartments and a disc like mach machine attached to a peri peri. The system involves a dynamic platform that actively collects, uh, using, collects waste using centrifugal force. It consists of a floating ring, a, a centrifugal machine, pipes, infrared detector, a net, filter, chambers, etc. Now I'm gonna explain you the flowchart of the system. So it the gunk gets collected and it goes through the center sensor which is in the pipe then it will go to the filter and what is in the filter if it is plastic then it will go to a quality check if it is low then it will go to the bacteria chamber and get decomposed if it is high quality plastic it will go to the high quality chamber and get stored if it is oil, then it will go to the oil chamber. If it is not oil or plastic, we will check if it is a living organism. If yes, then it will exit the system. But if no, then we will check for the gunk and it will go to the other gunk chamber or OG for short. Let me explain you how it works. We have these multiple rings which will gravitate slowly in the water and are connected to the boat to various chambers. Because of the centrifugal, centrifugal force, that first the heavy items get sucked in, then the lightest, uh, making it easy to segregate them. An infrared uh, sensor detects for marine life and any life will be picked up and pushed back into the ocean through a pipe. There are various chambers which will receive various waste and process them accordingly. For example, high quality plastic goes in the first chamber and get compacted. The low quality plastic will get sent into the second chamber and get decomposed. The other gunk will go to the next chamber and the, and the oil waste uh, which is collected via the oil filter will go to the last chamber. Where will Elvis be deployed? It will be deployed where, mostly where most debris is there. For example, the Great Pacific Dump, Marina Trench, etc. So, in conclusion, this is a practical ship with existing science. I hope this small machine will make a big difference. Thank you.